Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a little house update video post flood. So last time I updated on this it just happened and we've had a bit of time to go through some stuff and I said I might document it because um, for me personally I don't really know what happens when something like this happens to your home and um, we're a little bit of the way through the insurance process now so I thought I would kind of update you on that. I'm also working with Desania in this video which if you've seen any of my interior stuff before you'll know that I have a lot of prints in their house already and I've worked with them previously and um, so I'd booked in with them a while ago and I've had these prints in my garage for the kitchen. I was thinking I want to move a few things around and you'll know if you done any sort of renovation or changes to your home you kind of have to live with it for a bit and then go mm, no I want to change this or I might change that like when I added the archway in behind the kitchen table for example and um, so I really wanted some new prints to kind of go on the television wall and I wanted to borrow some of the things that I've already got and put them elsewhere in the house and um, so I had all of my prints ready to go and thank goodness I was storing them in our garage and not in here because they were already in the home when the flood happened <laughs> and I would have been gutted to have seen them be damaged but I'm going to unbox them and show you what I've chosen um, and just kind of give you a feel for what is going to happen next and if there's anything that we might change and um, what kind of updates we have to have done and so on and so forth. Okay so this is my order that I have been seeing and I don't know if you've seen Desenio before but they now do cushion covers and other little accessories as well which I'm so so excited about so I first up I've got these so this is the first one and I love pinks and greens this is the second again a nice kind of fern print this one I love the line art of this I think it's really really pretty really nice for summer as well as you know i like to collect pillowcases and i keep them in a little box in my garage and then seasonally i will switch them out which is just something that completely changes your room but you can reuse them and you can find really affordable lovely ones like this and then just reuse your innards um which is a great way of doing it and this is the fourth one so I think they'll go really, really nicely together. I love this. There is art inside. So I've ordered some print and you might recognise this print here because they match, which I'm really, really happy with. So this is a Botanica Verde print. I have a lot of prints like this in my house, like botanical ones. Green features a lot in our house because I just love how it's just a bit more of a vibrant neutral to me. So that's the first one. I actually have one of these ladies in our house already in our living room. And when I spotted this, I just knew I had to get this one too. She's absolutely beautiful. This is the Van Gogh Riverbank in springtime. And I just think that is absolutely stunning. I've got this floral one, which again is just absolutely beautiful. I was in lined. You'll recognize that from the cushion cover that I have as well. And then and I also got this matching one and I just think they're absolutely stunning. And then as I mentioned before they are doing like other items of homeware now and this actually matches the cushion cover and I just thought this would tie everything in really really nicely and this is going to be like my spring and summer vibe for the kitchen when it's not damp and <laughs> needing work doing and then these are all the frames so they have some really really good quality frames so if you're looking for something that's going to last or you know a gift then i would definitely definitely recommend these because you've got quite a few of them now and they have loads of different tones as well so you can see here there's like this is a different effect to this one and i do like that kind of oak wood the most um but it's nice to play around they have black they have white they have so many different tones and um you every time you select a print you can easily see which frame matches your print because it'll be suggested underneath and um, so it's quite a foolproof way of doing it because sometimes i can find that quite confusing like making sure that the measurements are right and that it's going to fit properly so i'm going to get these all framed up and then i will show you what i'm thinking 
Okay, so these are the prints that I'm going to pop in here when everything is done. So we have no plans on changing the floor room once that's replaced. I want the exact same one if we can. And then the paint is Dulux White Cotton, which is one of my favourite whites. And it sounds silly, but you can have a favourite white. But what I envisage is that these will go maybe here, possibly in a row as they are on the rug. And then I would like to maybe rejig the placement of some of these. And these three I'm not as keen on anymore, so I'll probably send those to a charity shop. But I just want to polish it up a little bit and make it more like us. I feel like now we've lived in it. Um, it would be nice to get some like prettier elements in. Um, I definitely want to keep this and I might move it somewhere else. Um, but I found this at a local charity shop and I thought it was stunning. So that's those three. And then now in our downstairs toilet, I actually purchased this one for here because I had an old frame there and it got knocked over and broke. And I really wanted to update the print anyway. And I just think this is lovely in here with like, the matching like faux plant there so that's what this is looking like and i've actually given that a clean today as well so <laughs> toilet is good then the little tray i've added here because i already have a circular mat there and it kind of balances it out and fits in and ties everything in that's a designio print as well by the way and i love this piece so that has gone on there so this is the new print and as you can see she matches the one behind the television and i'm half tempted to maybe move them along and sit them next to each other or place her somewhere else because this back wall here is actually quite blank and i would quite like to fill it with more prints as we go um but i just I think she's lovely and I love the artist but now I'm going to tour you and show you what it's all looking like and this is the thing when you come in first appearances the floor looks fine and um, so we we were surprised about that but um this is all gonna have to have stain block and this whole room has been quoted for a repaint because obviously getting the paint to match and everything look consistent is difficult as paint ages um and then you can see straight away it's all along the ceiling now and the staining has really really come out um so this is the worst part and this is bowed here more on this side which can actually be quite dangerous so we are getting that all pulled out and replastered and there's staining up here all the way across all the way across again all down the beams and then over to the other side of the kitchen and then if i go up close you can really see the damage and um, there's a lot of blistering here um, a lot of discoloration and you can see how it's all come through um, so again this whole area is going to need treating and steam blocking and repainting and then our skirting is coming away as well so that's swollen and, and the heat doesn't help uh, but that will need redoing and yeah on first glances it looks fine you're really lucky that even though the sofas got wet, they aren't damaged and they haven't swollen or anything like that. The same goes for our um, dining chairs here, our like stools and stuff. Um, and luckily, like the rug was, we were able to dry that out and things like that. But that's what it's looking like at the moment. Um, and fingers crossed, we can organise everything soon. But what I do want to do is show you the bathroom and get your thoughts on that. Okay, so this is our family bathroom and you've probably seen that before. Um, this actually is another Desenio print. I love this one so much that I also have this in our living room. Um, and we bought those when we were like fixing up the bathroom. And do you know what, with this bathroom, it's a few years old now and parts of it aren't perfect by any means. But it's a great family space and we kept it quite neutral so it fits in quite nicely and updates well with towels and stuff speaking of which all of our towels are on in the wash on the line but this part is all fine uh, nothing too bad happened our little um wicker basket got soaked and all the towels in there got soaked as well and um, excuse the marks on the floor that's actually the adhesive from the old lino but if you remember, this used to be a really, really dark grey colour. Um, and it was just what we could afford at the time. There weren't many shades back then. And um, we just kind of 
picked what we thought would work in the space but I have to say even though this is all mismatched not very pretty to look at and somehow already my children have spilled toothpaste on it um I do really like how much lighter and brighter the room is if you can get an idea because it used to be very very dark before and I feel like it's a brighter room now and I think obviously we're going to replace it with lino but you can see some patches are getting wet already because there's no protection down on the floor and um, aside from our bath mat which is currently in the wash so I am worried about this because they removed it and then obviously it's been like a week now so I'm keeping an eye on it because there's not very much we can do. I think ideally, and if you agree, I think we're just going to go for some like kind of wood effect lino because I know it has to be like for like and it wasn't in our budget and our plan to like completely redo the bathroom floor with anything more expensive. So what do you think? Because I feel like that's going to look better and it's probably a little bit more to our style. And I think when that is done, because um, they want to pull up all these floorboards first to look underneath to check that everything is okay. Um, then I think what we might do is just refresh the paint again because I'm imagining that's going to be some sort of damage to the paint while the flooring is being checked out and underneath is being checked out because they have to go under the bath. So fingers crossed there's nothing too bad <laughs> with the rest of this room. Um, but I feel like, is it a small like silver lining that we can brighten this room up and get a different colour or would you stick with a dark shade? I don't really like dark, I'm more of a light and warm toned girl but let me know what you think and what you would do. Um, but that is essentially where we're up to at the moment. But yeah, let me know what you think and if you've got any advice. We've got our report back now um, and they're meant to be coming to pull all the floor up and dry it out but my question to anyone that might have been through it before, am I best off waiting until that's done and then getting quotes or shall I get quotes in the meantime to keep things moving? Because I don't want to waste anyone's time equally, like I don't want to be waiting. You know when it's out of your control, like the next step is out of our control. Um, but I've, I've got names and numbers that I want to contact. And I'm hoping it'll be straightforward, but also if you've had it done before, how long realistically does it normally take to all get sorted? Um, I'm a bit worried about that just because um, I'm nervous about um, the summer holidays and it being done then and then like what do I do with the kids <laughs> and how do like we work and stuff. So any advice would be much appreciated, but I really hope that you... <laughs> Enjoy coming along for a nosy and I'll keep you updated as things go with like the progress and stuff like I did with the renovation and then if I do make any design choices I'll try and like document them like I have today and then you can tell me what you think whether it's a yay or a nay and hopefully the Desenio discount code is useful for you because we have prints everywhere there's another one here we have loads um it's kind of always been my go-to and last time I worked with them Mark's mum used my code as well and she got some for her house and they look lovely so yeah they're really really good little place to go for inspiration and if you're a bit unsure how to pair things as well um if you go on some prints it will give you suggestions and stuff so if you don't know how to match colors and stuff or you're feeling a bit unsure and you're like redoing a room really really good idea um i need to tell my friend actually because she's having a renovation start in her house and i feel like she loves some of their prints so i'm gonna have to let her know as well but fingers crossed we get everything sorted in this house and i can update you soon and it all goes to plan <laughs> and i'll tell you one thing though wow am i paranoid about taps now i am constantly checking every single tap in our house all the time when we leave and i'm going to the kids are you sure you turn the tap off because i never ever want to go to that again <laughs> but yeah let that be a lesson to all of us eh i will love you and leave you and i'll try and update you soon thank you so much for watching